I did not come up with this album idea. One day, you know, surviving in the studio, my boy from the AICPA hits me up and he's like, hey man, I need you to come up with an idea, a mixtape on 2013 top initiatives of AICPA. And I was like, all of them? He's like, nah, nah, nah. Just ensuring privacy. And I looked at him and straight in the eyes. And I was like, I got you. I know exactly who I'm gonna hit up. So I got my team together. We've been working endlessly in the studio. And trust me, y'all gonna love this mixtape. See this world that we live in? People with iPhones, people on Facebook, people liking people's posts on Instagram. There's just so much information about each other going around. Rumors, gossip, facts. How do we know who's who nowadays? How about public companies? Just imagine all the personal info they have stored. All that info of their clients. Are they ensuring privacy for these clients? That's what we're here to talk about. How these companies can make sure they're not only keeping you safe, but keeping themselves safe. I mean, at the end of the day, it's all about ensuring privacy. Do you expect a right to privacy? The truth of the matter is, is that the right to privacy is a complex concept. It doesn't stop changing. If you think about it, everything changes except change itself. <laughs> Don't you ever wake up in the morning and ask yourself, am I ensuring privacy for myself? What about my clients? Well, here's a mixtape that'll help you understand. This is a little something we came up with. Generally accepted privacy principles. If you're a real CPA, can you get your hands up for me? Management has a lot of responsibility. Define, assign, communicate, accountability. So many privacy procedures and policies. And there's a lot more than just these. Entities gotta get things straight or they'll end up like Watergate. Provide a notice which they themselves propose saying how info's collected, used, and disclosed. Choice and consent, that is the next principle. Laying out all the choices available. Obtain consent from the individual. Not doing so be wrong and just criminal. So now that I got all you guys' attention, the next thing I'm going to talk about is collection. The company collects only info that it needs, stated clearly on the notice so everyone can read. Info should be kept for a specified time so entities can reduce the possibility of crime when it's no longer needed should be thrown out assuming they properly dispose without a doubt Individuals gotta be granted access to their info like name, age, and address. Sometimes personal info has to be updated because things change from the time it was originated. Now let's talk a little bit about disclosure. Entities watch out for unlawful exposure. Sharing info with only parties they're allowed because the notice is basically the promise they vow. Security has to be set forth. The entity has got to show their force. Personal info should always be protected If it's not, then clients could be affected Cause there's always someone with an authorized access Trying to steal someone's ID and all their assets Personal info should be top quality Accurate, relevant, and also complete Monitoring is what 
comes next Compliance with policies gotta always be checked Complaints and disputes should always be addressed That's why entities gotta have procedures assessed Thank you for listening, you have been a great guest Hope you learned about GAPP Goodbye and God bless So uh, I made the song, it's called 12 Questions And it's basically a checklist of questions you should ask yourself for your business and if you're doing everything right to ensure privacy and be secure. Check it out. ACG 6625. When it comes to your privacy risk, you got to ask the right questions to understand, implement, and manage your business. So listen, these are some questions you got to ask yourself. Girl, it's easy to understand privacy. You gotta ask things like, what do I need to know about customers? What do we need to collect and store? See, it's easy to understand. Now, would you trust me if I disclose your info to third parties? Would this affect our business plan? And if we got management involved, how private would we be? And if we got a privacy agent, would you still love me? If the agent had clear authority, would you still trust me? And could we implement and maintain a privacy system and come up with all these resources? Policies and procedures were created. Will you communicate the info to the employees? Or do we have a privacy risk? And if we can comply with the policies, then what objectives would be established? And if these objectives weren't met, would you deal with the consequences? Or would you be able to monitor and report the privacy control? And I'm asking these questions to find out how private you are. So John and I, we wrote the song because the AICPA privacy principles scorecard just meant so much to us. Yeah, you know, the school board does so much for people. It tries to attain the best practices and assessment and management for privacy. You know, we tried many other tools that would help us manage our privacy, and nothing could just ever compare to the scoreboard. Yeah, you know, we wrote this straight from the bottom of our hearts, and we just want people to understand and just how awesome this scoreboard is. And I, I think we express it in our song. Yeah. What's the scoreboard, you ask? G-A-P-P Needing a tool to follow GAP compliantly And the scoreboard chose me Assess and manage organizations' privacy Ever since you told me AICPA created this for CPAs to use Only the scoreboard can uphold me Help me, teach me, save me The only one that provides for me, holla I know so many tools It's like they're all the same I finally found the one It just changed the game And when I need some guidance I can use the scoreboard Privacy is a real big issue It should never be ignored Trusted guidance Yeah, yeah Easy access Yeah, yeah Collaboration support Yeah, yeah Robust reporting options Scoreboard Cause it works The way you test The way you manage The way you assess Cause it works The way you report The way you examine Your framework Your support it works the way you are, the way you work, it drives me bizarre. Cause it works, and I can't go on without you. What's that? Oh, how, how did I come up with it? Yeah, um, well one day my boy, and my captain, I should say, Jay Diddy, told me he needed to stress the importance of identity theft. Being that he knew my history, what happened to me back in the day, I couldn't be happier than to talk about the resources and the tools, the things that you can use that everybody needs to know about, the things that's provided on the FTC website, on Florida government, different agencies are here to help you. If you ever find yourself in trouble, or if you just need to learn how to prevent identity fraud, Go online, find out, listen to what I got to say, because it's good. Uh, yeah, this mix is dedicated to all the people over at the FTC, all the people that gave me the resources I needed when my identity was stolen, and I was just trying to make some money to feed my daughter. Ha! Thank you, Federal Trade Commission, baby, baby. 
It was all a scam. I trusted some fool in a Trans Am. I thought he owned a legitimate entity, but he went and stole my identity. You see, I signed off without a proper notice. I never knew what's inside was so important. I always thought that stuff was just bogus until my credit disappeared, like hocus pocus. Yeah, I'm a victim of identity fraud, but you don't have to be like me, dog. Take a second, go online, and you will find the FTC has resources for all of mankind. Now check it, uh. I know a lot of you don't really care, but the AICPA is telling us to be aware. Identity theft is a preventable crime. Protect your info and read before you sign. And showing privacy is blowing up like I thought it should. It's the number four priority for a common good, uh. Yeah. And if you don't know, call an accountant.